Arthur's Kindergarten, Trouble at Arthur's Treehouse. The first thing you do is sign in. Type your name and click OK. If you've already signed in, click on your name. If you've typed something in before... Terrific! We can sure use your help! After the storm blew down our treehouse, I got really worried. But everyone said we could rebuild it. Yeah! We put pictures of all the stuff we need on the side of the treehouse. But we don't have much money. So, we're each going to help someone in Elwood City. If we help the grown-ups, they'll give us something we need for the treehouse. Isn't that great? Well, Arthur, what are we waiting for? We better get started. You're right, DW. Let's go. Click on one of our friends to go and help them. I'm thinking that I need help. This screen is where you can... This will be fun! My dad says we can have one thing from the junkyard to use in the treehouse. I found a table that would be just right. You can have it. But first things first, I need a little help with something I call a word sculpture. What do you say? Sure. We'll help. And you can help too. Okay? Dad's going to give us the clue. And we have to find something on the junk pile that matches it. Your job is to click on the right piece of junk. Then, move it over here to the bottom of the sculpture and put it on there. If you need to hear the word again, click on my dad. This time, I need a saw. That's the one. I'd like you to find me a chair. Chair, just what we wanted. I'm looking for a plane. 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 You got it. Say, I think we could use a fork. Fork. Fork, just what we wanted. I'd like you to find me a lamp. Lamp. That's the one. I really like making art, don't you? And it looks like we're going to do some more of it, too. Stick around to help, OK? Say, I think we could use a kite. Just what we wanted. This time, I need a fork. Fork, you got it. I'm looking for a bird. Bird, just what we wanted. Say, I think we could use a bag. Bag, that's the one. I'm looking for a saw. Saw, you got it. You've got the hang of it. Try moving up a level. Remember, we're looking for a piece of junk that rhymes with the word my dad gives us. Rhyming words share the same ending sound, like hat and bat. I'd like you to find me something that rhymes with Hair. Rhyming words have the same ending sound, like coat and boat. Chair. That's the one. Say, I think we could use something that rhymes with bite. 
rhyming words have the same ending sound. Right, Coach? Just what we wanted. I'm looking for something that rhymes with rag. Rhyming words have the same endings. You got it. Say, I think we could use something that rhymes with blue. Just what we wanted. I'd like you to find me something that rhymes with bat. Book, hat, that's the one. I really like making art, don't you? And it looks like we're gonna do some more of it too. Stick around to help, okay? Remember, we're looking for pieces of junk that belong to the same group or family my dad calls out. So, if dad asks for a tool, you can give him a saw or a wrench. Say, I think we could use an animal. Just what we wanted. I'd like you to find me something you'd find in a house. Lamp, that's the one. Say, I think we could use something that makes a sound. Bell, you got it. I'd like you to find me a toy. Kite, that's the one. Say, I think we could use something that makes a sound. You got it! I really like making art, don't you? And it looks like we're gonna do some more of it, too. Stick around to help, okay? I'd like you to find me an animal. Bird, just what we wanted. Say, I think we could use a toy. Good try, but we need something else. Plain, plain, you got it. I'd like you to find me a container. That's the one. Say, I think we could use something you'd find in a house. Ten, just what we wanted. I'd like you to find me an animal. Bird, that's the one. These are some great sculptures. Take that table anytime you want. You've earned it. Oh, this table is perfect for your treehouse. What a find. Wow, you made that activity look like a piece of cake. We'll be back in our treehouse in no time. I really like me. Wow, kids, this is a great sculpture. Thanks, and come back and visit any time. I've got a lot you could help with. Okay, let's go. One great thing about ice cream is that it comes in great big tubs that we can use as chairs. The Brain's mom said she'll give us some of these tubs for the treehouse. Not so fast, Arthur. I could use a little help first. I've just invented some new ice cream flavors, and I'm putting their names up on the flavors board. I've done most of the work. However, I just need a few more letters. See all the letters in this rack? I'll tell you which ones I need, and you hand them to me. To give me a letter, click on it, move it to me, and click again. Let's get started. I need an A. An A. To give me a letter. An A. Good work! I need an I. An I. Good work! Would you please hand me an H? If you... An H! Good work! Tuna, onion, whip. Uh, I don't think so. You're a big help. Ready to pick more letters? Arthur, 
Would you please find me an eye? An eye! Thank you. Would you please hand me a T? A T! Thank you. I need an M. An M! Good work! Onion, beet, cream. No thanks! You're a big help. Ready to pick more letters? If you think this is too easy, maybe you should be playing at a higher level. Now I can... Now, I could use a letter that makes a S sound. An S. Thank you. Now, I could use a letter that makes a G sound. A G! Just what I wanted. I need a letter that makes an I sound. An I! Good work! Squid, egg, ice. Oh, yuck! You're a big help. Ready to pick more letters? Please hand me a letter that makes a L sound. An L! Thank you. Now, I could use a letter that makes a S sound. An S! Just what I wanted. Arthur, would you find me a letter that makes an A sound? An A! Thank you. Liver, squid, dream. Do you think kids would eat that? You're a big help. Ready to pick more letters? Hey, you're good. Why don't you try playing at the next level? Now, I could use a letter that makes a L. Please hand me the first letter of the word snake. An S. Good work. Now I can use the first letter of the word nine. An N. Thank you. Now I can use the first letter of the word lollipop. An L. Good work. Sugar, lemon, slush. Wow, that sounds good. Well, I think that just about does it. Thanks for all your help. Ready for those empty ice cream tubs now? Oh, these ice cream cartons will make great chairs for your treehouse. Won't it be fun when we can play games in the treehouse again? Great! Thank you! And thanks to you, too! These are the perfect chairs for our treehouse. You're really a big help today! Thanks a lot! You kids were a big help to me. I'm... Hey, be fair. Come and help me now. Gee, great! This'll be fun! Nice to meet you. I told Mrs. Maplewood that I'd help put tools on the lumberyard shelves so that she'd give us some scrap wood. But boy, I had no idea it would be this hard. What's the problem? It looks easy enough. First, I'll look in all the boxes and you'll see what's in each one. Then, I'll look at Ms. Maplewood's cards for the tools she needs. When you see the tools she needs, click on the right box to help me find it. With your help, I think I can do this. I think we need to get a box of bolts. This is it. Perfect. Let's see. There should be a file. Hooray! Here it is. This card says that I need a hammer. All right. We found it. Let's keep helping Miss Maplewood.
Now, I have to find a hammer. Oops. Aha! I knew it. We're looking for... Hooray! Here it is. Let's see. There should... This is it. Perfect. Let's do some more. Let's keep helping Miss Maplewood. I think we need... All right. We found it. We're looking for a box of nails. Aha! I knew it. Now, I have to find a saw. Sorry. Yes, we got it. This card says that I need a screwdriver. Aha! I knew it. Let's do some more. Let's keep helping Miss Maplewood. I think we need... This is it. Perfect. This card says that I need a drill. Wrong box. Maybe you need... I think... I I'm afraid that maybe you need to try again. I think... Sorry. Oops. Hooray! Here it is. We're looking for a file. Yes. We got it. Let's see. Wrong box. All right. We found it. Now, this is it. Perfect. We did it. Miss Maplewood says... We can take any boards we need for the treehouse. Do you want to stay here and do this again just for fun? Oh, wasn't that nice of Mrs. Maplewood? She's donating the scrap wood for your treehouse because you've been such a big help. The wood that you and Buster got is just what we need. We're one step closer to playing awesome games in our treehouse. Let's do some more. Yay! We did it! Ms. Maplewood says we can take any boards we need for the treehouse. That wasn't so hard, was it? Okay, maybe it was, a little bit. But thanks to you, we did it! You can help us anytime! Oh no! Where's DW? We've got to find them! If we ever want to get the treehouse rebuilt, let's go look for her right now! I'll give you directions by telling you up, down, left, or right. See the four arrow keys on your keyboard? When I say up, down, left, or right, press the one I tell you to. And before you know it, we'll find DW. Now, let's go find DW. Click on a building and I'll tell you what it is. Hmm, let's go down. Hmm, let's go left. Yes! We're getting closer! All right! You found DW! I needed your help in Grandma Thor's garden. Okay, let's go! My dad said that if we help him, He'll give us a rope and pulley to lift things into the tree. That's right. All you kids have to do is get something from the toolbox for me. Great! We can turn this into a game by seeing who can get to the toolbox first. Click on number one if you're playing by yourself, and you can help me. Click on number Here's how we'll play. Go to any lit-up crate that matches the shape that my dad asks for. Choose where you want to go carefully. You can only move to a crate that's to the side of you or in front of you. They'll light up, so you'll know. The first player who gets across the room to the big tool crate is the winner. I'll start. All right, I'll go now. Go to the shape that is red. What should I pick? 
You really know your stuff. Okay, here I go. Go to the shake that is a square. I'll move to this crate. A good choice. Listen to the clue. Go to the shake that is green. Which excellent. Okay, my turn. Go to the shake that is hollow. I'll move to this crate. You really know your stuff. Now it's my turn. Go to the shake that is green. What a good choice. Okay, here I go. Go to the shake that is green. I'll move to this crate. Excellent. Listen to the clue and tell me where to go. Go to the shake that is red. What a good choice. Okay, my turn. Go to the shake that is hollow. I'll move to this crate. Um, I think my dad asked for something else. All right, I'll go now. Go to the shake that is a star. Which one should I choose? Believe it or not, we just won. Good for us. This is great. Let's do some more. Okay. Go to the sh Okay, my turn. Go to the shake that is red and is a square and is hollow. I'll move to this crate. Excellent. Listen to the clue. Go to the shape that is a star. And a good choice. Okay, here I go. Go to the shape that is a star. And is blue. And is hollow. I'll move to this crate. Excellent. Now it's my turn. Go to the shape that is red. And is hollow. And is a square. What? You really know your stuff. Okay, my turn. Go to the shape that is solid. And is a square. And is green. I'll move to this crate. Excellent. All right, I'll go now. Go to the shape that is red. And with a good choice. Okay, here I go. Go to the shape that is blue and is solid and is a star. I'll move to this crate. Excellent. Listen to the clue and tell me where to go. Go to the shape that is solid and... Well, um, I think my dad asked for something else. Okay, my turn. Go to the shape that is a star and is hollow and is red. I'll move to this crate. Um, I think my dad asked for something else. Now it's my turn. Go to the shape that is red and is hollow. You really know your stuff. Okay, here I go. Go to the shape that is hollow and is a star and is red. I'll move to this crate. A good choice. Listen to the clue. Go to the shape that is green and is a square. Um, I think my dad asked for something else. Okay, my turn. Go to the shape that is a star and is hollow and is green. I'll move to this crate. Um, I think my dad asked for something else. Now it's my turn. Go to the shape that is green and is a star. Excellent. Okay, here I go. Go to the shape that is a square and is red and is hollow. I'll move to this crate. Great, I won. All right, we got the part for Brain's dad, so we can have the pulley now. If you want to do this again, stick around and we'll start over. Or you can go help someone else. Hmm. This rope and pulley should come in handy for rebuilding that treehouse. It's so nice of you to help us with our treehouse. It looks like we'll be able to play new games in it again soon. That was fun. Listen to the clue. Go to the shape. Well, I have everything I need for that engine. You kids have been a big help. Do you have time to help me now? Okay. Let's go!
Why, yes, I think I do have something for your treehouse. I have lots of extra paint. And it's all yours if you'll go through my garden and pick some pretty flowers for my house. I know. Let's make a game out of picking flowers for Grandma Thora. You can help. Hey, thanks, Grandma Thora. Grown-ups always like it when kids help out. See that window with the numbers one and two? Click on number one if you're playing by yourself and you can help me. I'm trying to see who can get to the end of the path first by picking the right number of flowers. See these three sheets hanging on the rope? They'll always show groups of flowers. The first group plus the second group will always equal the third group. See these two circles on the ground? Only one of them will show a group of flowers that is equal to the number of flowers on the third sheet. Each time you click on the right circle, you'll move ahead two spaces on the path. First one who gets to the end wins. Of course, I get to go first. See those two circles of flowers? Pick the one that answers the math problem. Oh, five plus one equals six flowers. You got it. Okay, here I go. And these are the flowers I'm gonna pick. Oops, wrong one. Hey, Arthur, it's my turn. Which circle has the same number of flowers as the eight? Three plus one equals four flowers. You got it. Okay, here I will pick the three. Yes! Okay, I go next. I see two circles. Which one? Four plus two equals six flowers. You got it. Um, I want these flowers right here. Oops, wrong one. I'll see those two circles of flowers. Pick the one. Five plus you got it. Wait a second. It's my turn. I'll pick the flower. Two plus. Yes. Hey, Arthur, it's my turn. Which circle has the same number? Two. You got it. Wait a second. It's my turn. Five plus one. Yay! Hey, Arthur, it's my turn. Which circle has the same number? of One. I'm so glad you're helping me. Wow! You're doing great! Um, I think I go next. And these five plus... Yay! Okay, I go next. See those two circles? Two plus one equals three flowers. I'm s Um, I think I go next. And these one, yay! Now I get to go. I see two circles. Two plus four. I'm so glad you're helping me. Wait a second. It's my turn. I want the Oops, wrong one. Okay, I go next. I see two circles. Five plus, you got it. Um, I want the five plus, yes. Okay, I go next. I see two circles. Two plus one equals three plus, you got it. Um, I think I go next. I want these flowers. Four plus two equals six flowers. Yay! Okay, I go next. I see two circles. Which one has the right? Three plus, I'm so... I'll pick the poops. Okay, I go... See those two circles of flowers? Three, you got... Wow! You're... Okay, I want these flowers right here. Oops, now which... Three, you got... Um, I hope now see those two sir. Five, I'm so glad you're helping. And oh, hey. I see two circles. Which two plus one equals three flowers. I'm so glad you're helping me. I don't believe it. We just won. Yay. Hey, let's go back to the other side of the garden and pick some more flowers. Uh, I. Three plus... Yay! Hey, Arthur, it's my... See those two circles of flowers? See those two circles of flowers? Pick the one that answers the math problem, okay? Two plus... I'm so 
Okay, I want these flowers. Seven. Yay! Okay. Which circle has the same four? You got. Wait a second. I'll pick the flowers. Oops. Hey, I see two circle. Two. I'm this. Wait. I oop. Okay. Which circle has the eight? You wait. I oop. Hey, see. You wait. And oop. Okay. I. I you. Uh, I. Yay. Okay. Which circle has the You. Oh. And oops. Wrong. Hey. Which circle has the same number of nine? Wait. I oops. Now which. Now you. Um. I'll pick the flower. Two. E Hey, R I see two C you uh, and oops. Oh, C Fine. Oh, I oops. Wrong one. Now I get to go. C, C you oh, I oops. Now see. Three. Okay. I oops. Now I get to go. See those two C you Wait. I'll pick the seven. Yes. Okay. I go next. See those two circles of flowers? Pick the one. That answers the math problem. Seven plus one equals eight flowers. You got it. Hey, I won. You helped me. Oh, my. Look at all these pretty flowers you picked for me. I think I have a little something here for you. Yay, it's the paint for the tree house. Thanks, Grandma Thora. And thanks to you, too, for picking flowers with us. You've been a big help. Oh, look. The treehouse will look wonderful with this new paint. You made that look easy. It will be so fun to play games with you in our new treehouse. Hey, want to stay? Hey, thanks for your help. I'm so glad you stopped by and helped me out. Oh, no. Where's Muffy? We've got to find them. If we ever want to get the treehouse rebuilt, let's go look for her right now. I'll give you directions by telling you up, down, left, or right. See the four arrow keys on your keyboard? When I say up, down, left, or right, press the one I, I think we should go up now. I have a feeling that we're really, really close. Let's go right. I All right! You found Muffy! I wanted someone to help me sort the books. Uh, great! Miss Turner says that we can have that old library ladder for the treehouse if we help her sort this pile of books into these two bins. Great! How hard can that be? You'd be surprised! The books are about real life or make-believe. Sometimes it's hard to tell which is which. Hey, I bet you'd be good at this. Want to help us sort these books? This is how we'll do it. I'll tell you what each book is about, and you point to the bin where it goes. Remember, Real life, or fact, is about something that's true. Make-believe, or fiction, is just a story. I knew that. Here's the real life bin, and here's the make-believe bin. Click on the bin where each book goes. Now this one tells us about a pink elephant who ice skates. Good work! I bet you read that book before. We crosswires always finish what we start. Good job! In this one, they talk about a duck that swims and quacks. I knew that too! We crosswires always finish what we start. Good job! Now this one tells us about a hen who lays white eggs. Which bit? Nice going! We crosswires always. This book is about a cat drinking milk. Good work! I bet you read that book before. We crosswise. In this one, they talk about a giraffe that teaches kindergarten. I knew that too. We crosswires always. Now this one tells us about a mouse that plays a guitar. Nice going. One we crosswires. This book is about a pig who is fat. Any ideas? I'm sorry. That's not it. 
good work. We crosswired. In this one, they talk about a boy three inches tall. Nice going. We crosswires. This book is about a kitten that can play the piano. I knew that too. We crosswired. In this one, they talk about a monkey swinging from a tree. Good work. We cross. Now this one tells us about a horse who has wings. Okay. I knew that too. We cross. In this one, they talk about a leopard with spots. We nice going. We now this one tells us about a polar bear that lives in the snow. Hmm. I knew that too. We this book is about a pig that herds sheep. Which that's not quite nice going. We in this one, they talk about wolves that travel in a pack. Good work. We crosswires. Now this, this book is about a baby frog that looks like a fish. Hmm. I knew that too. We cross. In this one, they talk about an earthworm with eyes. Which bin? Nice going. We cross. This book is about a snake with arms and legs. Which good work. We cross. In this one, they talk about a spider as big as my hand. Okay. I knew that too. We now this one tells us about people who don't need food. Any idea? Nice going. We this book is about a snail that moves fast. Which <coughs> whoops? I knew that too. We now this one tells us about a turtle with no shell. Which <coughs> sorry. Nice going. We in this one they talk about a car that drives on top of the water. Okay. I don't think so. That's not good work. We now this one tells us about a bug that looks like a leaf. Hmm. I knew that too. We in this one they talk about a bird that makes a nest of rocks. Which bin? Nice going. Yes. We're all done. And Miss Turner is really happy that we helped. Miss Turner says you've been a big help to her today. Now, be sure to take this ladder back to your treehouse before it gets dark. Between you and Muffy, we'll be playing new games in our treehouse in a snap. We crosswires all this book is a well, I know one thing that's real life and not make believe. You're really fun to play with. Hey, how great! This'll be fun! I'll give you an old window for your treehouse if you can help me finish putting together these stained glass windows. That sounds like fun. Well, maybe I can put the windows into the frame, but I'm not sure what the right order is. Hey, maybe you could help us. Want to give it a try? Ready to make some windows with us? Click on one of the pictures down there on the floor and move it to the right place. Let's make another window. Let's make another window. Okay. Let's make another window. Hey, what picture do you want to start with? Let's make another window. Let's make another window. Hmm. What? Yeah, that does go there. Let's make another window. Maybe you hmm. put pick. Hey! Wow, you're good. We finished the job. Want to stick around and do something else? We'll find a way to make this window work in your treehouse. Excellent work! At this rate, our treehouse will be repaired in no time. Let's make another... Thanks very much. You can take that old window over there whenever you want. Good luck with that treehouse. Come back anytime. Look at this wallet we just found. It was lying right there on the sidewalk, like it was waiting for us. And it's full of money and other stuff. Hey, Arthur, 
Think of all the things we could buy for the treehouse with that money. You're right. Let's see how much money is here. We're looking at the money from the wallet we just found. You can help us figure out what the different pieces of money are called. You can also tell us how much each one is. Get ready to click on whatever we're looking for. Which one of these coins is worth 25 cents? Click on... You got it! Which one of these is a dollar? Show us. Now we need to know which coin is worth 10 cents. Click on that. You're right. Okay, which one is worth one cent? Click. You got it. This time, we're looking for a coin worth five cents. Show us by clicking on it. That's right. Now, we want to count up all this money from the wallet to see how much is there. We'll need to separate and count all the different kinds. You can help us by clicking on whatever we ask for. Then, you'll move it to the spot where we want you to put it. You'll click again to drop what you're carrying. Let's start, okay? This is where we'll put all the quarters. That's right, yes! This is where we'll put all the dollars. That's right! This is where we'll put all the dimes. Good ch That's right! Good choice! That's it! This is where we'll put all the nickels. You got it! That's right! Good choice! Hey! You really know all about money! Buster, I've been thinking. This money isn't really ours. If we spend it, the person who lost it might be really sad. Wow! You're right, Arthur. I know how I'd feel if it happened to me. I guess we should return it, huh? Yeah, let's do that. Maybe there's something in this wallet that'll tell us where to find the person who owns it. We're looking for something in Yes! This is just the thing we need. It's a driver's license with a name and address. This tells us who owns the wallet and where they live. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's return this wallet to the person it belongs to. So that's what happened, Mr. Cedar. We found your wallet on the sidewalk and knew that you'd want it back. He says he's really happy. He didn't think he'd ever see it again. What did you say? Yeah, we're the kids who've been all over town looking for things to fix up my treehouse. What? You are? You will? Hey, thanks, Mr. Cedar. That's really nice of you. Okay, we'll see you soon. Bye. What? What did he say, Arthur? Mr. Cedar is a carpenter buster. He's so happy to get his wallet back that he's sending over his crew to build the treehouse for us. Wow, he'd really do that? Yup, he said it's because we did the right thing. <laughs> and I guess we really did. Thank you for the big help you've been today. We couldn't have done it without you. Isn't this great? The treehouse is as good as built. All right. We helped grown-ups learn new things and did a great job. Here's our certificate with our congratulations. You can print it now or later. Hey, you get a certificate. Way to go! Click on one of the three games to play a new game. A rubber ducky factory. We get points when we paint the ducks yellow. Just use the space bar on your keyboard. Or click your mouse to drop paint on the ducks as they pass under the paint machine. We only have two minutes, so let's go. It's a hit! It's a hit!
Tyler. Good. Spectacular. We got one. Good job. Good job. on a game to continue playing. Three in a row. Are you ready to go? Click on the jacks or rubber balls and try to be the first to get three in a row. Are you what? Play some more games? This game is super fun! Every monkey here has a friend who looks and acts exactly like him. Can you find all the pairs? Click on any monkey to begin. Good. Aww. 
We found a match! You found all the monkey pears. Let's play again. I knew you'd be back. Let's play some more. Hey, you want to help me? I'd like I could use some help. Are you sure you want to quit? Okay, see you soon. 